Uh, I want to thank everyone who has left comments and told me in person how much they love the podcast, told me in DMs how much they love the podcast. Every time you comment or send me a message, it warms my heart. I appreciate it. Please keep leaving those comments, leaving those reviews, and uh, sending me any messages that you want and telling me what you think about the podcast. Uh, but for now, of course, let's get started. This is the, the Robster Show. Show. All right, and Samantha Turret is back. Hey, it's Samantha Turret. Gotta <laughs> pee pee poo. <laughs> Woo Nice, nice. Um, did you uh, did you have a childhood like idol or um, uh, like a hero or something uh, or someone? I guess I should say it could be something. I mean, like you know, a childhood idol. This is kind of weird, but like I was like re like I idolized Anne Frank. Um, yeah, that is pretty weird. So what what I mean, what did you idolize? her her like courage or uh, yeah, yeah yeah i read the book and i was like damn like that's not like my diary at all yeah it's so much better <laughs> you know <laughs> so <laughs> so also the writing practice <laughs> you, you were you were almost jealous I mean, no, like definitely not jealous. Yeah, but, but you were impressed. Like, like very impressed. damn, like, can you believe somebody that young could write that well? If you, it, I recently threw out all of my diaries, I went home and I was like, I'm going to read these and they're going to be prolific. In what and I they? horrible, like tr truly, yeah. like I felt nauseous reading them and not in like a, oh, well, fun and quirky, but just um, why, You did save that one I see right there. Why don't we... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you just read like a little... Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, hold on a second. We'll put a little music underneath you and just read to one of the, one of the chapters there. Dear Derry, that's how I used to spell diary. Yeah. Um, Dear Derry, I just wanted to write today to tell you about my second grade teacher. Mrs. Dancer. I always thought that she looked at me as one of the coolest kids in class. Mm. But I just found out that she had my mom come in and she told my mom I was not the sharpest crayon in the box oh. and that I had a really good left hook. Wow. I don't remember hitting anyone, Derry, but Mrs. Dancer says I did. Yeah. And now, so my mom is pissed. So we'll stop there because uh, I actually it goes had, on for pages. Well, yeah, but also I I remember you told me about that. Uh -huh. So I had Mrs. Dancer call it. Oh god. Yeah, she's on the line. Hold on one second. Oh, no, I can't. All right, Miss Dancer, uh, whatever you're ready. Hello. Hi. Uh oh, Samantha, one punch turret. That it's me. I can't believe you're always punching and hitting. That was you. I just, I, I wish I remembered that because that sounds so much cooler than I remember myself you sure? being. I always said this is a violent, violent girl. I was afraid you joined the uh, Bloods. Um, I haven't. Um, but I'll look into that. If uh, you... what are you up to? Are you, you in prison? Yeah. Um, nope. No prison. I've actually never been in prison. Um, okay. Yeah. I guess that yeah. You, know, you don't want to admit to that stuff. I I hear you. you uh, okay. Did you steal my pocket watch? Um. Okay. So I do know who stole it, but I did not steal it. I yeah. You know who stole? Because you stole it. You were the worst kid I ever met. Okay. Well, I I loved you. I loved you. You were my favorite. You loved, you loved me. Yeah, you were my favorite teacher. I told my parents you were the coolest teacher. Oh, that, that touches my heart a bit. Wow, well, Mrs. Mrs. Dancer, is this uh, sounds like maybe you had Samantha all wrong. She, she really respected you. I think so. I think that's it. Yeah, I guess I, I, I misjudged you is what I would say if I weren't smart as a whip and though I'm being grifted 
Well, I sold your uh, pocket watch and it went for I knew big it. bucks. I knew it. it went for I so, it. so I much money. It. I'm going to sue. What, what is, what's your address? It's been too many years, I think girl. We'll, I think we'll hang up. Okay, yeah, bye. Thanks for I love you. Um, wow, so that, that got heated. Thanks for calling her. That, yeah, I'm so sorry. That's really upsetting. Um, uh, did you steal a pocket watch or was that just like lashing out at the end? It was just lashing out. Yeah. I would never steal. I that's can't picture not, you. It, that's not in my... Yeah. Like, I guess I could picture, here's what I could picture you, Samantha. I could picture you like having led a life of crime mm. because you're very nice and Thank it would you. make sense that you've like, like overcompensated. Sometimes I dream about that. I think to myself, like, what if, you know? Yeah. Well, you would have been a great uh, scrappy uh, pickpocket in like the 1920s. Thank you. I'm surprised they haven't cast you as that in something <laughs> cast me as a scrappy <laughs> pickpocket um oh wait the the you did have that audition though let's let's take a listen oh, to that one yeah. yeah hold on a second this is a, a great um let's get the uh oh yeah uh, all right here yeah, just waiting for the bus oh me oh my hey oh Oh, don't look over here. <laughs> don't look back here. Wait, wait, what's up with you, kid? Ooh, <laughs> do you, you got eyes on me? You got eyes on me? Only because you said you? don't look over here. Otherwise, okay. I wouldn't have. Well, now now that you've seen me, I, I, mm -hmm. I might just have to punch you in the face. What? Foot pow! Ah! My face, you punched oh, me. And here we go. I'm just going to see if I can grab anything out of your pockets. You do. There's not much in here. <laughs> so you, um, I guess it's not very pickpockety to punch in the face. I no, like it was normal. less of a pickpocket and more yeah. of a, just a criminal. Yeah. Like a yeah. plain old. Well, I hear you. I mean, that's like. Is that why it didn't go forward? They didn't, did they choose I, somebody else for that role? Or? I was pinned. Oh. He was, I was pinned for a little bit, but no, I didn't end up getting it. Oh, uh, who do you think they, who'd they go with? <laughs> Probably a real pickpocket. Oh, really? Is that how Hollywood works? Yeah, that's it? Hollywood today. Yeah, they're you, more, they're more are... interested in realism than actual It's all about reality. Um, did, uh, did you have any childhood adversaries? <laughs> um, childhood adversaries. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him to be watching this, but I feel like you need his full name. Why? Oh, it's, 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 a good it's a good name. Jimmy Malloy. Well, look, Jimmy Malloy. I mean, is he still an adversary? No, I I haven't thought of him until this very moment. How, how old? When was the last time you saw him? Like, how old was he? I was. I had to be in middle school, or yeah. maybe out, no, it had to be after the middle school. He like lived on my street. What was it? What was the like? It was just like teasing, bullying, or was it uh, just competitive? Like, no, it was definitely like teasing slash bullying. I'm not like. Well, on people your don't part or his part? Oh, on his. Oh, I, really? I'm not somebody people compete with. I'm somebody they bully. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, I'm much cooler now. I yeah. know that's why you can't believe it. No, I know. Mm -hmm. um, so I did another awful thing. No. Yeah, I Is got he, Jimmy Malloy. You got to ask yeah. people first. I get it. But <sighs> let's just do this. Okay. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. I really need something to break for me, Samantha. I don't know so if I'm kind of getting desperate with here. this show. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. I, I, okay. I'll make it up to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Jimmy, you're on the line. Well, 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 Samantha Turret. I cannot believe your voice has not changed yet. That's right. It's me, Jimmy Malloy, right? That's uh, my name. Yep. So nice to hear. What you been doing? Anybody giving you wet willies? Nope, nope, no wet willies. Uh, no. That's mm. unfortunate. It, okay, I heard you had a baby. That's nice. I did, and I told I called him. Uh, I gave, gave gave him a special name. Yeah. Yeah, Samantha Poophead. You named your baby after me. That's right. That's like weirdly nice, Jimmy. Well, I always liked you. You liked me? Yeah, of course. You made fun of all my cat fancy magazines that I brought into school. Yeah, who but people who do that that's what kids do when they like each other. Wow. I was a big fan of you and your cat fancies. Wow. I'm sorry if it came across wrong. In fact, I have seventy two cats myself. Damn, Jimmy. Yeah, it's a 
It's a problem. I think I have a problem. Yeah, that's actively too many it's cats. It's too many cats. In fact, they, the health co- the health uh, department came and by the other day. I and, bet little Samantha must be under fur. Oh my god, that's a good point. Okay, I gotta hang up. I can't find her right now, so I should. Oh, I gotta dig through some cats here. My namesake. Yeah. Okay. Well, Samantha, next time I see you, I'll uh, stick my wet finger in your ear. You're looking forward to it, bud. <laughs> Great. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye bye. How's your mom doing? Sorry, I forgot to ask. It, she's fine. Oh, oh great. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah, he he seemed pleasant. I can't believe he remembered my mom. Yeah. She was she bullied him. Well, that seemed that turned out way better than we, when we thought it was. Way better. Yeah, that was that was. I mean, you were really really worried about that interaction. I mean, I, they, there's plenty of reason why I did list his last name. Yeah. <laughs> which I shouldn't have in retrospect. Well, you know. Can I be sued for that? Is it slander? Uh, no. I, I think if you're saying something that's, um, how do I say, if, I think if you're saying something that is okay. actually sl- libelous, then then people would sue. Like, I think you have to say something that somebody actually needs to uh, deny. Got it. Got it. So it can't, it can't just be somebody. Uh, you can't just mention somebody's name and then say a wacky thing, especially right. on a podcast that I think generally would be assumed as a bunch of bullshit. Good. And you could easily say that. In a court I miss law. you, Jimmy. I'll back that up. I'll back that up. Thank you. I am for hire, though. I will take a bribe, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm pretty desperate. Um, uh, can you help me write a cover letter? This this is a new thing, so I don't know if this will help. But I, I applied to be a podcast producer at this. Uh, it's like for a construction podcast. Yeah, I would love um, to. This guy is looking for someone who really identifies with New Jersey. Uh, oh, yeah. So I that's why I'm asking that. you, because yeah. obviously... Uh, you're from New Jersey. Um, so this is what I have so far. I say, uh, to whom it may concern, they list a bunch of kind of like technical mm-hmm. stuff that I know. Construction-y? Uh, no, no, podcast oh, stuff. Because, okay. I, yeah, I don't know much about construction. But then then, then I, I, I end up at this, then I'm at this part. This is the part I need help with. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, I want to say something that makes me come off real Jersey in, oh. a, in my cover letter, but also is positive about me. Hey. Mhm. Okay, I'm you this. over there. Okay, got it. I got your sandwich. Mhm. And highways. Okay. And know how about construction podcast stuffs. Oh, I like that. Nate, that sounds pretty Jersey. Yeah. Should I mention you said sandwiches? Should I mention Taylor Ham? Taylor Ham, yeah. Specifically is good. Yeah, yeah. People big big. They like Taylor Ham. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just gonna push send here and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I yeah. hope for the best. I you, you don't know anything about construction though. No, so but you, I mean you uh, pick it up. Yeah, well I'll pick that part up. Uh but the Jersey stuff I wouldn't have. Oh yeah, I'm happy that. to Taylor Ham was key. Uh, you want to listen to some other podcasts really quick? Yeah, I love listening to other podcasts on podcasts. Yeah, I like to check them out and uh, <laughs> try different ones. This is um, this is called the uh, Building Cars on Lawns with Dobbers and Clint. So let's uh, go take Building a Building cars on what? On lawns. Oh, interesting. So I guess like a car sitting out in front of a house. Wow. And Dobbers and Clint are building it. Yeah, I just play the intros to these. There's so many podcasts. I just yeah. think it's interesting at this point to... Uh, you know, have some different uh, stuff. All right. Oh, I like the music. Yeah, it's nice. Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to Building Cars and Lawns. I'm Dobbers. And I... Uh-oh. Clint. Yeah. Now we all know Clint's got that. You're working on that, but it's a, it's a long uh, pause in yeah. your brain. Yeah. I just like to sit and think about cars. You know, we've been doing this a long time and I'm getting some feedback from the audience. Is oh, it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they, they're saying that we don't get to the cars enough. And I guess because we take a while through this intro. 
I don't know, Clint, what do you think we could do to change, well, maybe speed up? I think life is meant to be mm -hmm. enjoyed slowly. You know, Clint, that's why I, I just got to follow Clint here, folks. Uh, I think life could be enjoyed slowly. Uh, anyways, moving on. All right, we'll stop it right there. That was, uh, um, and this is, uh, accountants having fun. Oh, that's cute. That is cute, right? Let's take a listen to them. accountants having fun. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Steven. Oh, and it's me, Tilda. <laughs> And together we are accounting, having, having fun. fun. We're having some fun today. We really are. I, I, uh, I did a, uh, a crossword today. Oh, and I just did some counting on my own on my day off. Um, what's that you have there in, in your uh, pocket? Though oh. I see you got a new, is that a pipe? Oh, yes, it's, it's a pipe. It's time to have. <laughs> Fun! Accounting's having fun. And by fun, we mean smoking meth. Yes. Wow. Okay. That That's got sad. That got really I messed up. Did that not see that. Did not see that. Okay. Um, trying not to get hurt with safety experts, Kim and Paul. Well, I like this. Sounds like something I'd be uh, up into. Um. Toe. I'm Kim. And I'm Paul. We got hurt. We got hurt. This is how you don't have to. I was today. Uh, how did I hurt my toe? We'll tell you about that coming up. It's interesting and bloody. <laughs> okay. Kim and Paul. Uh, oh, so this is crazy. This is a. Uh, I found your podcast. You had a podcast it's called Samantha Turret's Flower Picking. Yes. Yeah. You did? Do you still do that? Um, I haven't in a while, but I haven't officially ended it. So there's no reason not to go back, oh, okay. you know? Well, let's take a let's take a listen here. We got to Samantha Turret's picking flowers. Hello. And welcome to Samantha Turret's Picking Flowers an ASMR-only channel where you listen as I touch different flowers. Oh, that's very nice. Here comes the first flower. <laughs> that is a tulip. Now let's go and touch this flower. That's a rose. That's my cat. Get out of here. Let's go touch one more flower. A basil leaf. <laughs> that, this is great, Samantha. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to lean into like ASMR had gotten really popular, you know? Yeah. And people were just like touching their microphones. Do you have the tingly whatever they get from that? tingly like that's what asmr is like people certain people their brain it like tingles or something like that's that. why it got so popular the weirdest people were commenting <laughs> on my podcast i had never heard about the reason i just thought some you people just, like whispering. you just thought it was for whispering you didn't know about, I didn't the, know about the tickle the weird freaks this game is called toxic pas <laughs> toxic positivity um, oh. And we're going to see how good you can do this. Oh, um, you you are an actor, uh, a very good actor by trade, by trade. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the acting world, there's a lot of toxic positivity. There so sure I, is. I think you I think you've had some experience with this. I'd love to see how you do. This is the game called Toxic Positivity. I am going to say a bunch of negative things as if we're just in conversation. Mm -hmm. And I want you to try your best to turn it into toxic positivity. Love it. So not just positive, but give me that like, you know, whatever extra oomph that it needs. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put on our game music, which is 
this. Oh. That's not, that's not, this isn't good music for that. I think, I think the, the music we need is, I know what we need. We need a little this. Mm, yeah. There we go, tax price. Oh man, Samantha, I just, uh, I just stubbed my toe, damn it. Oh, well turn that frown upside down. Did you know every time you stub your toe, a fairy gets their wings? Uh, no, is that and, like a... And, 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 uh -huh. every time you stub your toe, it's just God's little reminder that you have toes to stub. Okay. Isn't that, that nice? That, that, you definitely, that's a point for that one. And, and here's what I'm, how I'm judging it, is how deeply enraged I get. God. Like you, you, cr <laughs> you crossed over to it with that last line. Thank that was you. great. Um, my fucking God, Samantha, I lost my, I had a six figure job, I just lost it. Oh, well, hey, you know what the really positive outlook about this is? Mm -hmm. That job wasn't good enough for you. Okay. You are better than that. You don't need six figures. Oh. Money doesn't mean anything. <laughs> okay. You know what means something? You <laughs> and your love of life. <laughs> Get that less. Was great. That was great. You did it again. At the end, you, you that extra dagger. Money doesn't mean anything. Was, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, the doctor called. I say, they say I have incurable super farts. Ooh, you know what's so great about incurable super farts? What? You will never be alone. What? Every Why? time you sit down and you do a big old fart. <laughs> That smell will linger. And that is like a new friend because God knows you won't have any of your old friends left mm. with all those farts, but mm. you will have your fart to talk to. Samantha, I cannot give you a point for that one. No, I get it. You dropped out. You can't, you can't add negativity. Yeah, I got that. You said I won't have any friends. Yeah. Um, I hear you. Hey, Samantha, my dog oh. just attacked the president and they're charging me as a terrorist. You know what's so good about being charged as a terrorist? What? Well, when you're charged as a terrorist, it means that you love something so much, you're willing to fight for it. Hey, that, that, that was actually pretty good. It doesn't make any sense when I break it down, but yeah, for a brief moment, I felt, I felt good. Um, I ordered a pizza yesterday. Mm. They charged my card seventeen thousand dollars. I mean, I, I don't. Even, I'm I'm broke. This is a little reminder from the universe that not everybody gets food. And how lucky are you that you got to eat that pizza? Yes, you are down seventeen thousand dollars, but you are up. One reminder that food matters okay so the last one i'm going to give you one point but this one you're getting bonus points that was fantastic thank you because you did the thing where it was both um trying to cheer me up by telling me to basically like feel bad for other people yeah. the worst <laughs> possible response um my god i lost my legs in a logging accident you know what is so amazing about losing your legs you will never have to go into a pants store, try on pants, find out that your pant size is different in different stores because for some reason the U.S. Fashion District just can't get it right. You never have to do that again because you don't have legs to put that pants mm -hmm. on. Uh, I love that. I'm going to give you a half a bonus point. You didn't cross into rage territory, but you did a great job of kind of making it about you too. Oh, thank which you. Which I really like. Um, the police raided my home last night and murdered my best friend. They're saying accidentally. Ah, you know what's so great about that? What? Now there is a space for your best friend so we can finally be best friends. <laughs> Who needs that guy? All right, I'll give you a point. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard one to be positive about, but yeah. that was, I think you did as good as you can do. I'll give you a point for that. Thank for you. All right. And this is the last one. Uh, oh my God. That was the doctor. He said, I have five minutes to live. Five minutes. 
You know what's great about that? What? You're you're talking to me and I am one of the most entertaining wow. people to speak to. So these last five minutes of your life are going to be the best five minutes of your life. Okay, so you're, but this is, I'll give you the point, but that was pure psychopath, psychopathy. <laughs> but that, I, I mean, what else can you say to be positive in that moment? Um, let's listen to some uh, screen tests that you did. You brought in a few of these. I want to uh, yeah, play them I'm, for I'd, some people. I'd love people to, to listen to To hear to some these. of your screen tests. Yeah, I mean, uh, Samantha's a great actress. She can uh, um, act the pants off anybody. Uh, so they, they've <laughs> given her some- Except for that one guy. <laughs> except for that one guy. Um, but uh, this is crazy. I guess you auditioned to play the fish guy from Shape of Water? I did. Yeah, you got that far to a screen test? Let's take a listen to it. What do you what do you want me to do? You want me to come with you, but Yes, come. <laughs> I'm a fish, but a hot fish. You're you're something. <laughs> this fish. This fish has abs. You're weirdly sexually attracted <laughs> to this fish. And you don't know why. <laughs> I can't breathe. Get me water, water. Hey, Samantha, uh, we're loving it. Great stuff. Could we, uh, let's try not mentioning, like, don't, don't, don't mention him, his, like, him being a fish as, as much as that. Got it, got it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry. All right. Uh, just take it from, take it from where you were. So, uh, back to three. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you, fish man. Come, come into this bathtub. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Samantha, uh, are you having trouble swimming in the suit? I've, um, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I am not a great swimmer. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, okay, so that's why you didn't get that part. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to be honest about that kind of stuff, though, or else. You're I, but like, I get it. They ask. Uh, they ask us to say stuff all the time. We're always like, "Do they really mean?" And I, you know, you just got to say yes until yeah. Yeah. until you have to be like, "I might drown." Um, in this moment. And I guess there's a new Born Identity coming out, or it's a reboot. And you auditioned. You were playing the bad guy, who's a big fan of uh, tea. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's take a listen to that. Yes, thank you so much for all of this money. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I think I will. That's a long, long slurp. I, uh, thank you. It's all of the tea I spent your money on. How much tea did you buy with the money? Honestly, not as much as you'd think you could get. That's, that's $4.7 million. You spent all of it on tea? Ceylon is quite expensive <laughs> nowadays, and Orange Pico, don't get me started. So you improvised all the, the uh, like kind of tea talk. Was that just a comment on... You felt you were commenting on sort of the state of tea. And the yeah, kind of tea tea like yeah. hearkening back to the tea party. I like the strong choices you're taking. I'm sure like I think four point whatever million on tea is extreme, but you got to try stuff in order to book yeah. these roles. And I mean, what all, like, what else are you going to do? Yeah, um, this was crazy. They tried to reboot Back to the Future and then they went really nuts with it. They wanted you to play Biff. Who's yeah. the bully? Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Let's uh, take a listen to this one. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you. What? Yeah. What do you, you think you're doing talking to my girl? I was just uh, help, hey, helping hey, her with her homework. Shut, shut the fuck up. What are, you, what are you doing? Talking to my girl. Uh, yeah, I said shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at me one more time with your four eyes. Yeah. Hey, Samantha. Yes? Uh, you know, uh, uh -huh. if you could, I think maybe we need to get you stand on some boxes. He's like a foot taller than you. This is really. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll right. get on a couple boxes. Okay. That's fine. This happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, we should have thought of this, but uh, go ahead. Get on those boxes there. 
Hey, you stupid, stupid <laughs> little man. You yeah. just look up here. I'm, look- I'm, I'm up here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Change your eye line. I'm looking, yeah. Yeah, there you are. I'm just yeah, helping you- her with her homework, yeah. sir. Yeah, oh, you're helping her with her homework? Yeah. Well, that's my girl. And that's probably like your mom. You guys look so much alike. Stupid. <laughs> So you you just went full meta with it at that point. You just what you were like. I I'm mean, just gonna once call they're it on the, their fourth reboot of a movie. Why not? It's just, time to get weird. So in this version, Biff was fully aware that every yeah, about everything. Yeah, because it was back to back to back to the future. Oh, so it was like back they back went back, back to, the to the future and then they went back again Got and then it. they came back and then. And are they moving was, forward with that? Are you going to play Biff? Or? Um, yeah, it's in the works. Wow. Congrats. Uh, let's listen to this last one. This one sounded real wild. I guess they did Shrek, but now everybody's a robot. Mm-hmm. And you played uh, the robot donkey. I mean, that sounds really stupid. But uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what it sounds like here. Hey, donkey. Hello, Shrek. <laughs> I need to get it back to my swamp, uh, my metal swamp. Waffles. Hee haw. All right, we'll stop there. That. That, that sounded as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get the funding. Yeah, but you, um, you know, I'm glad they're trying some yeah, stuff. I no. do hate that they they keep using this old IP. Um, can we do this ad? You have ad copy on your uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. lap right there. It's a Glint and Glow Boot Cleaner. So we'll uh, take a listen to Glint and Glow Boot Cleaner. Come on out to the Glint and Glow Boot Cleaner Warehouse to get your stack of Glint and Glow Boot cleaner goo Mm. yes this boot cleaner goo is gonna clean your boots for the low low price of 17.99 that's That's right just 17.99 that's right they're saying 17.99 like 20 times yeah it feels like 17.99 is there like some small print or something oh yeah what's it say this boot cleaner may or may not impact your health and the longevity of your life, whether you like it or not, for only seventeen ninety nine. Oh, they re- so the price is it's in the clear. it's in the may in impact the your life. Guess it's a chemical or something. Yeah, but that doesn't normally. I feel like it would be like impact your health or something, but impact your life feels like. I mean, like, maybe it's something meaner than that. Maybe yeah. it's chemicals and somebody making fun of you or oh. I, I don't know. I don't, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I asked you to reading. read this. Yeah, all right. You so, should, you should edit this stuff before you hand it out, or I like, got, you know, talk to them about it. I mean, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. I'm yeah, just taking yeah. what people are willing to pay me for. So why don't you uh, just read the website? www.glintonglinton1799. So is dot gl- com. Wait, Glinton Glinton, but it was Glinton Glow. Yeah, just as Glinton Glinton. I assume they couldn't get Glinton Glow. Something's up with these guys. We'll figure it out. All right. Um, all right. This is a new game. This is called I Know Something You Don't. No. And uh, I want you, I actually want you to be the one running this game. Yeah. If you can. Basically, I want you to try uh-huh. to um, name a famous person. Uh, or something famous that you know about that you think I don't know about. And then I have to see uh if i if i know anything about it and if i know anything about it i get a point but if i don't then you get a point but it has to also be famous it can't be like you you know like this thing happened in your middle school it has to and be it's like a thing naming that, like, a person or naming like it can be an event a person mm-hmm. or uh any and basically anything that it was in the zeitgeist at some point ever yeah, so for example, I could uh, say George Washington, or I could say... Oh, interesting. Uh, I could say dabbing, and mm-hmm, you could, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. I wanted to play this with you, because we have a significant age gap, enough of which it would be interesting if there's something that I I don't know that you know. Okay. I didn't want to play in reverse, because I know a bunch of... You know, a, a, you a just few, know so Yeah, much. I've just been living longer. Um. All right, we're going to go real far back. Right, let's do it. Um, I'm very Ka- excited. Catherine Howard. You get a point. I don't know who Catherine Howard is. Who is Catherine she Howard? She was the fourth wife of King Henry. Oh my God. Uh, during the late 1500s. That's, that's great. Um, how did you know? How do you know that? Like, how do you know about Catherine Howard? I was watching the Tudors, which is a 
TV yeah, show. Yeah, about, about that. Mm -hmm. Great. Do you want to try another one? I do. Yeah. This one's going to be good. Um, Mm. Yeah, I'll give us some music. So yeah, please, to, please. Uh, yeah, we just need as much uh, as we can. Uh, Let's do. Uh, okay. Garmin. I think I do know Garmin. Garmin was the GPS things we used to use in our car. Yes. It's that brief window. It was brief. It's a cool thing about tech because there's these brief windows of stuff where yeah. it's like, like people, do you know what a mini disc player is? No, I don't think so. What See, is that, it? See, that was like two years. It was like 1998 to like 2000. For a brief moment, it was like you could record, you could record music onto these mini discs that looked like little mini CD-ROMs. Mm, that's it, so cool. It was really cool looking, but it was like immediately replaced with like MP3 players. With ev everything else. Everything else, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the iP iPod and then iPhone. Um, well, this was fun. I realized that maybe I would have to do some pre-work because I'm like forcing people to think of things. Yeah, <laughs> but lot. well, we But those are two there. great, those are, those are both great. Uh, Garmin is a great one. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to think of the other one, like a, I think it was called a Tom Tom or yeah. something. Oh, that would have been. I remember if it Tom was a Tom Tom, Tom or a Tam Tam, and I was like, no, it was know. Tom Tom. Yeah, or if it's Tim Tams, I don't know. Tim Tams is the those cookies. They're, oh, Tim Tams from like Australia. I Tim Tams were crackers. Oh, they might be, but they're Australian. I feel like maybe. Um, let's uh, listen to. Speaking of Garmin, uh, let's listen. I want uh, I want you to listen to this. Um, I recorded this in my car because oh. my GPS was going fucking nuts. It was saying all crazy shit you wouldn't even believe. So I want to play this for people. Um, let's see right here. I have to figure out how to do my things. All right, here we go. Okay. So. <sighs> Turn left. Okay. Turn left. All right. Turn left. Okay, I'm turning left. Go straight. Okay. Straight. All right. Turn left okay. on Hamlin Avenue. All right, great. Park. Park? Park here. What do you mean park? Park here, right here. No, that's a... Right here on freeway, park I'm here. I'm not parking on the freeway. There's like cars... Park here, park here no, immediately. That's crazy. T turn left. I've turned left on the freeway? I'll, I'll die. The car will flip. We're going 67. Go straight, go straight. Shh, okay. go straight. Okay, okay. Park. Did you just tell me to sh park again? I'm on the freeway. Park right here. I'm, I can't park, park here. Park now. I'm not parking. Rob, Stop. I know what you're doing. What? I know what you're doing. What do I know you what you're thinking. I know <laughs> you're seeing that <laughs> other woman. Happening? It's me, Rob. It's me. Um, so, anyways, I had to get rid of that. Uh, Sounds like maybe it started. Yeah, I think it, it developed feelings or something. Emotional. Yeah. This is the future we live in. Doesn't make any sense. Um, you want to give some relationship advice? Oh wait, actually, I have a question. Do you? Yeah. Uh, what's the most annoying pet owner you've met? <laughs> Or, or you've known, and you don't have to if it's somebody that you know personally. Now that's really. interesting. The most mm -hmm. interesting pet owner. Like I, I, there was a woman that lived Please. in my neighborhood growing up who had a uh, black uh, Labrador that was dying to kill everyone, and she could barely hold it back. It would literally be like you'd be like see her coming, and you just run to your house because she could barely hold on to this dog God. that was like <laughs> trying to attack your face. Well, I saw there's this woman in, um, it was like Studio City in the Hills, an area I used to walk in a lot. And I would always see this woman chasing her chicken. Like it would get out all the time. And she'd be oh like, my God. Henrietta, Henrietta, come back. And she's like, anybody see my chicken? <laughs> so like, I guess that woman, if she actually had a chicken, yeah. I don't know if she's just, no, I'm sure she did. Oh I, my God. I assume she did too. So, I, you know, part of the way I'm able to contact all these people is I have a magic phone. And wow. Yeah, and my phone, is, it's, uh, it's the flashing. The phone podcast. line is, is flashing right now, and it says Henrietta on it. 
Oh no. Which is wild, because that was the chicken. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, it's me, Henrietta. Henrietta. Yeah, Samantha, I'm real. Uh, Rosalind on um on Carpenter, she's been looking for you. I know, and she's a crazy one. I don't want to go back there. Well, well, oh, yeah. There's there's coyotes and stuff in the streets on in Studio City. You I got, got a me. knife. Well, you. you you know how to use a knife? Of course. You got to survive on these streets in L.A. Not back. Oh. Well, I, are you happy now? Oh, I'm doing great, yeah. I guess I'll tell Rosalind that, so that's... Oh, please don't tell her about that you saw me, Bok Bok. I... Oh, well, I, I'm... I'm very glad do that you, you... Do you gamble? Um, a little bit. I, I dabble. Okay, well, why not, whenever you get a chance, come on down to Henrietta's Cluck House, and we'll, uh, we'll you set you up with some uh, chips. I'll throw you some chips away. I cannot believe you started a business. That's right. I got a little casino. I'm, I'm not going to tell Rosalind anything. You are thriving. I'm doing great. Wow. Come on down. I'll spot you some chips. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah, we got the, we got some nice poker and stuff. It's a, got a good good thing going. Love that. Mm-hmm. Try my hand at roulette. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, hold on one second. Cut. Yeah, cut his thumbs. Take his thumbs off. He's a dirty. He's dirty. He he he, he plays counting cards. <laughs> Henrietta, I, yeah. I, I am gonna actually go. Oh, um, okay, well, great talking to you, Samantha. Um, okay. Back, back. That was. That was odd. Did, did she threaten to take some guy's thumbs? Yeah, and she had mentioned a knife at the beginning. I don't think I'm gonna go there. Yeah. I don't think that's a safe place. I, I won't tell Rosalind though. No, I mean that would probably upset her. I would, if I were her, I wouldn't even believe you. No, I wouldn't believe me either. Yeah. Let's give some uh, relationship advice. Um, this is uh, Rhonda. She says her and her boyfriend always argue about organization, especially concerning the kitchen. Mm. What should she do? Well, Rhonda. Yeah. I personally know this as a fact. You need to label absolutely everything in your kitchen. Whoa. E- everything. Do you, really, do you do this with Andrew? I, I <laughs> am going to in the future. Okay. Because there is only so many times you can tell somebody where the forks are in their own house. Oh, my God. So, Rhonda, I hope you're listening to this. <laughs> I need you to get a label maker. I need you to take one for the team. Where is he putting the forks if he doesn't know? I mean, sometimes he'll unload the dishwasher and there'll be just things on the side that he just doesn't know where they go. Andrew, wait, how long have you guys been living together? Years. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Samantha. He knows where the forks are, but he doesn't know okay. where a lot of other things but are. But still, does he not cook? Are you the cook? No, he cooks. I don't know what he cooks with. He's so he, smart. He's, he's so smart. Maybe his head's too filled with like Numbers. Uh, quadratic formulas yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's formulas. But yeah, Rhonda, that's my main piece of advice. So your, advi- your advice is you deal with the same thing and it's annoying. The label maker, yeah. The label maker is your good way. So we'll we'll check back with you. Yeah. See how that works I'll out. give it a try. Rhonda, you give it a try. We'll, we'll, we'll check see. each other. All right. David says his wife keeps insulting his driving. What should he do? That's a rough one. I feel like a lot of people deal with that. It's kind of um, that's hard. I yeah. I think you you gotta you gotta put your foot down on the gas. Mm, I wouldn't say on the gas, but I okay. would say you know just tell her what is helpful to you mm-hmm. to hear and what's not helpful to for yeah, you. Yeah, I feel like the problem is that everybody's kind of a, got a knee jerk reaction. Do you know what I mean it's it's yeah. less about it's not it's it's less like people are like conscious of what they're saying yeah i don't know i feel like that's been my general experience when somebody starts telling me how to drive it's because they're they're they can't they struggle to keep those thoughts inside yeah like or or sometimes people are like uh gaspers like you drive and then they're like (gasps) well now i've mentioned this i think on the podcast before my wife i call her uh i call her the, the monkey because she goes, ooh, 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 ooh. So, <laughs> That's a little... So like that. Hey, at Meredith. At least it's not scary. Um, like a gasp to me is gasp like... Gasp makes you think something, like that I'm around. missing something. Yeah, then yeah. you might, you yeah. know, Does Andrew, get in an Is accident. Andrew a gasper? He's not, but my okay. mother's a gasper. Oh, well, <gasps> yeah, that's... I don't... Yeah, that I... It's There's like so you many. gotta... If you're that big of a gasper, you gotta close your eyes, lie back, 
to like we do that whenever it's like a scary situation whoever is driving the other one just i'm closing my eyes like i don't want to yeah i don't want to because if you're it, gonna go down with the ship go down with yeah. the ship with your eyes closed quietly. so david uh tell your wife to close her eyes or um uh, yeah tell her, tell her to close her eyes yeah uh, and, and you know, just and shut that mouth. Shut, shut, or, or she can drive. Or she can drive. Yeah. What's up with that? Swap. Maybe he doesn't want her to drive, and then that's that's a, that's whole, a whole other, whole other, other problem. Issue. That's a you problem. Uh, Michael says he's ha- has had multiple breakups over playing video games, but he says he makes money playing video games. I guess he's like a streamer. How can he find someone that understands? Well, you're g- you're gonna have to date a fellow streamer. Yeah. Or, or. Set hours, my bud. Any any Who's job. Who's the gamer he, in your house? Are you or Andrew? He sometimes plays this world conquering game, but I okay. wouldn't call him a gamer. Yeah, it's just the time at night where he conquers the world. It's kind of like adult risk. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't really call that a game. No. Do you oh. play video games? No. Not even on your phone. Um, I have this <laughs> game that's called like elevate and it just like teaches you grammar and stuff and you just do smart logic games okay but i wouldn't call that gaming either i, I mean, call that you, like choosing where punctuation I mean, you goes and meredith gotta talk i look over at her and she's playing she does sudoku and yeah she likes puzzles connections like, on, yeah. yeah 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 she put she likes uh at, she likes jigsaw puzzles she'll Ooh. play like digital jigsaw puzzles oh i need a real puzzle Jigsaw puzzle on on I couldn't deal with that with moving. Yeah, she, I mean she it's likes too a real small puzzle of a too. Screen. But yeah, well definitely on your phone. She'll do it on her computer. That um, I could I could see that. Maybe you're revealing too much about my wife and her secret yeah. puzzle playing. Well, uh, if you need advice. Yeah. I'll turn to you. <laughs> um, this is an ad for Michelle's comfortable swimwear. So go ahead and uh, take that copy. Hold on, we'll start some uh, music here and uh, we'll get that. Roll it. Wait, no, that's not what we want. We want some. Uh, there we go. All right. Are you itchy? Are you scratchy? Well, that's no way to be. Yeah. It's time to get yourself some comfortable swimwear. That's right, Michelle's comfortable swimwear. Oh. There's tons of different kinds. Swimwear that covers your whole body, Swimwear that covers just a little bit of your body. What makes so, it comfortable? Does it say? It says, let me keep reading. Sorry, Get sorry, there. sorry. It's hard to read when you're talking to me. <laughs> sorry. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. You might be thinking, what makes this swimwear more comfortable than other swimwear? It's made out of felt. That is the only trick. <laughs> it is made out of pure unadulterated unadulterated that's what he said i know sorry I'm like, i don't write I this you write this or you get no i get it i hope me, so i i tend to speak you know i i forget them speaking out loud when i'm mm-hmm. thinking inside sorry felt it's felt i'm finishing felt. the sentence <laughs> <I don't forget. laughs> period okay but you're in line with me samantha this is felt seems like the worst type of thing to wear i mean i guess water. it's cheap like probably they're like probably what they make off of it is worth the, making it out of felt. Yeah, but it, uh, I personally, I wouldn't, wouldn't wear felt in water. That's I wouldn't wear felt. Period. Yeah, definitely not in water though. I'm almost done with this. Yeah, sorry. Why don't you get through it? I'll I'll stop interrupting. If you want to be comfortable while in mm-hmm. water, check out Michelle's comfortable swimsuits <laughs> at www.itsmadeoffelt.com. Oh, okay. Well. I mean, they're honest. Clear business model. Clear business model. You know what you're getting. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever had to lie to get out of trouble? Yo, yeah. 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 What's I, a what's a like what's a what's a lie you're willing to admit to? I'm now I'm like trying to rack my brains for one, but I know I have. What's like a big one? There had to be one where you were like, oh, like. Hey. Is it bad that I can't like pinpoint one? No, there. I get it. Like, if you tell like little, like, there's a di- like, it's hard to I've remember. I've never told like a huge lie. Yeah, yeah. So nothing is like crazy standing out. But like I, I, white lies. I ran a red lies. light once, and I told the cop that he had not that I he he pulled me over, and I told the cop I said, no, I was turning left. 
I, I mean, I was I was turning uh, right off the the thing, which you know, like I had come straight. Like it was very clear that I ran a red light, <laughs> but I said I was coming right off the other road, so I should have been able to turn. Like I didn't. Did it work? It. And he legitimately he took a pause, and I just something in me said, I think he doesn't have proof, and I think if I double down, so I just double down. I'm like I I don't I. I, I understand what you're doing your job, but it, I really just turned right off of the other road. I didn't come straight through. And he just he just looked at me and goes, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. it worked. Yeah, it was wild. It was a wild thing because I was like, it, this, uh, it would have been such a big ticket. I think I guess it would be worth it. But yeah. it was a moment of like, if I piss this guy off enough, I, it feels like it could be bad. So... Yeah, yeah. That was, that was scary. maybe the, one of the. That's probably one of the biggest over. lies I ever told. That is this. That's I mean, and it worked. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I can't think of like a big lie. Now I'm thinking about different like parking Little issues. Lies? Like, cause I probably lied to somebody who's like parking tickets and stuff. I'm sure I've lied. Yeah. Is it mostly like I'm um, why you're late? Like what's a what's a like what would yeah, be a lying situation? I, I'm thinking now of like I used to get tickets at my college for parking in places I wasn't yeah. supposed to park, and I I accrued a lot of tickets, but I knew that they couldn't actually like there was no way for them to get yeah. back to me, so I would just keep um, telling them like I kept making written requests that it wasn't a real ticket like to them, oh my explaining gosh. why I didn't deserve the ticket. And then they would postpone it. And I did that for three and a half years. And I was able to never pay the tickets. Oh my God. Oh. By postponing it. Oh my God. Magic phone. Oh no, is it yeah. Muhlenberg Campus Cops? Muhlenberg Campus <laughs> Parking Cops. Oh God. This is wild. I, I, you're on the air. We finally caught you. We've been bugging you for 15 years. I'd like to postpone. Damn it. Yeah. It really, it works that, every that time. That worked again. It, That's it, wild. It will work until the day I die. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Once you figure Muhlenberg, that kind I had, of... I had a friend who went to Muhlenberg. I visited Muhlenberg. Yeah. It's a great school. It's a it's, very good school. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. yeah and um, the tickets don't matter. Apparently. Yeah, you can just really, you can park willy nilly there. Um, this is the acting challenge uh, where you are an actor, so I'm making you do it. Um, this is The Way of Water from the movie we referenced earlier. Oh, oh no, this is from The Way of Water, the Avatar movie. Wow, the a lot Avatar of water. Like, yeah, a lot of water stuff in this app for some reason. Um, but uh, we're going to have you do just a normal delivery, so just try and nail it. Uh, as if you were auditioning, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, move on to the. There's three three rounds, so go ahead. Whenever you take a beat, and whenever you're ready. The way of water has no beginning and no end. The sea is around you and in you. The sea is your home before your birth and after your death. The sea gives and the sea takes. Water connects all things, life to death, darkness to light. Nice. Nice. That was a solid uh, delivery. Thank you. Um, now, <laughs> uh, just we're going to have you try and do it uh, with a Swedish accent. So whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. go ahead. Who do who? Mm -hmm. The way of the water has no beginning and no end. Mm -hmm. The sea is around you and in you. The sea in your home before your birth and after your death. Mm -hmm. The sea gives you and the sea takes. Water connects all things, life to death, darkness to light, hoodie hoo. I love hoodie hoo. That is great. Thank you. Very good. One of the best Swedish accents we've had on the show. Really? Yeah, very impressive. All right. This is the hard, hard part. Third round. You have to try and say the opposite of every word. Mmm. Whatever you think the opposite would be. Okay. A stop to... Darkness, yes. no, yes, ending, no, yes, beginning. Uh, fire, mm -hmm. no, 
two at C O I O fire a mm-hmm. uh, the hole after the death but not before the life a mm-hmm. uh, fire takes a uh, to fire gives fire disconnects that those death of life lightness mm-hmm. of dark great fantastic mm. wow you nailed it you crushed it um thank you i especially like how you chose hole as the opposite of home yes like a dark hole yeah i guess that would be the opposite of home. i mean i don't know i guess well, it no would be I, like, I mean what's the furthest thing from home i guess being in a hole yeah or like, but i guess that could be your new home but that's a i guess anything yeah. could be a home yeah but but i i like it i felt i felt that i felt it uh true i like how you replace the with a <laughs> it's like, i guess uh is the opposite of the and then fire obviously is the opposite of c because somebody might be like sea, desert, or whatever, but the real it's fire. It's fire. That's Water, the pure fire. Ob- opposite mm-hmm. of it. That was fantastic. Thank you. Um, Nobody ever asked me to do that, and that is what I've been waiting to do. I mean, that was fantastic. Yeah, I, I, that's I, why I, I come here to do the acting challenge. Yeah, I'll, I'll have you do more of it for next, this next time. and you calling people. I don't want you to call. Um, was there anything? Uh, is there anything bothering you recently? That's like kind of fun, not like. Obviously, uh, like the state of the world is <laughs> shitty, but is yeah, there won't, any, won't talk about any that. like uh, annoying things or mm, stuff? Annoying things that are bothering me. Yeah. Such a good question. One annoying thing yeah. that is bothering me uh-huh. is um, there is like two apartments in our building just got listed for sale okay and they're the one across the hall from us and right next to us and those are the only ones on sale in the building what the hell so you're gonna have two new neighbors that's not what i'm bugged by what i'm bugged by is are they leaving because of us because like nobody else is leaving that's crazy i hadn't even thought about that like what's that what is it like happening you gotta figure out yeah what's going on um what is it <laughs> Both are across. Well, anyways, I asked you because I also know that you uh, wrote a song about it. So we're gonna I, we're gonna listen to that song that you I, wrote. It's in the works, but I'm happy to. Yeah, you please, know. please play it out. Uh, we'll uh, we'll take a listen. Obviously, it's a, a rock song here, and uh, whenever you're ready, you're just gonna sing it. Oh, that. into this one. Yeah, go ahead and. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I can't hear this one. Yeah, keep. keep. Hello. 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 Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I live in a place on a street, in a home, on a town, in the world, and I live across from somebody I'd like to be friends with. And next door to me There's another couple I would like to be Friends with No! Red fin Two apartments are listed in our complex Redfin, two apartments are listed in our complex. You know where they are? It's the guy across the hall that I wanted to be friends with. And the one next door. Wow, very beautiful. Wonderful. Um, this mic really does it. Yeah, does it, it all. Really does. I don't do anything. It's the mic. Um, well, Samantha, thank I'm you so much for being on the podcast. Let me pull up our intro, outro music right now. And show. Oh, nope. That's 
There we go. All right, Samantha, where can we find you online? Yeah, you can find me at on Instagram at Samantha Turret. S A M A N T H A T U R R E T. That's also my TikTok handle, and that's also my Facebook handle. And I don't have a Twitter anymore, so don't follow me there. <laughs> wow. That's it. Thank you so much for being my guest. And of course, this has been the Rob Stern Show. Rob Stern Show. Rob Stern Show. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's the angry. Rob Stern show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. Oh, oh, oh. The Rob Stern Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this, a web of lies? The show is a web of lies.